The biggest problem most people have with electric vehicles is the range and the charge time that goes with it. Range anxiety is a real thing, but what if you could charge the batteries while driving? Now, some companies already have range extenders, which are small internal combustion engines that generate power while you drive, which then charges the batteries and extends your range. But you see, a range extender still needs fuel in order to run, so what if there was another option? An alternator. Firstly, let's talk about what an alternator is and how it works. So in your average internal combustion car, you have tons of electronics from your radio to your headlights, tons of sensors, the air conditioning, the list goes on and on. All of these systems use power. Now your car is fitted with a battery, but your car's battery regularly burns through a lot of power, and that's where the alternator comes in. After your engine's running, the alternator recharges the battery back to full strength. Plus, while the engine is running, the alternator takes all the load from the electronics and powers everything. But how? The alternator works by turning mechanical energy into electrical energy. You see, when an engine is running, it spins a pulley. This pulley is connected to the alternator via a belt. This then turns the alternator's rotor shaft, which spins a set of magnets around a coil. These spinning magnets generate alternating current around the coil, which is then channeled to the alternator's rectifier. The rectifier converts that AC power into DC power, which activates your car's electrical systems. And that's where the question comes in. Could you not connect an alternator to a moving part of an EV in order to extend the range? Now, the first problem with this is the fact that an EV has no engine, and because of that, there is no way to run the alternator. So, end of video, bye. Now, I'm joking, there, there are other ways to do this. We just need to find something that turns. And what turns on a car? Well, the wheels. But this creates some other problems, like having car parts outside of your car, which is not ideal. I'm um, like, you're gonna break a few ankles while driving down the road. Plus, when you park the car, some people might like steal your shit. Not ideal. But there's another option. Option two, all motors have a drive shaft, something that takes the power from the engine to the wheels. So in theory, you could add a belt system to the drive shaft and then directly connect that to the alternator, which then will run and generate electricity back into the batteries while you drive. So yes, it is possible, but should we use them? No, you see the energy that powers the alternator is actually the mechanical energy created by the motor. Now the motor uses electricity in order to spin in the drive shaft and turn the wheels. If you are running an alternator off of the motor, we are using electricity to make electricity. And because of the fact that you are turning the wheels as well as the alternator, you will be using way more power than you would be able to generate. Plus you'll be adding another failure point to the car, which will mean more maintenance and more headaches and more money. So in conclusion to the question, can you use an alternator to charge your electric car? Yes, you can, but you really shouldn't. It won't really increase your range by all that much. It will cost a bunch of money and you will be overcomplicating the whole process. There's a reason why most car manufacturers use range extenders and not alternators for EVs. This is unfortunate, it would be cool if we could just use an alternator, but the gain in range would be minimal and really not worth it. So this time, it is really the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. And if you like anything car related, this is the place to be, I make tons of videos on cars. So if you like them, you like me, and you like my channel. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?